Um, uh, gosh, Central Time, it's uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Ronnie Knowles, that lives in Lawrenceville, Tennessee, just sent me a text message. I just tried to send it to Kathy. It's not going through. Kathy Cunningham in Kentucky. He said that the girls have been there the whole time and sent me a picture of it. That girl's on a Bible verse on Job. On Job. Huh. I, I'm trying I, to I just got huh? it. I just got it. Okay. <sighs> Kathy, promise me you will call and you will get somebody to tell, get the story out or whatever. I don't know what to do. Does that mean he hurt them? Bonnie or whoever, did you see the picture? I'll say the picture, yeah. Okay, let me call Ronnie. All right. All right. All right. Call him too. Put him on recorder, recording when you talk to him. Put Ronnie on? Yes. Okay. Yes, get as much evidence as you can get. I don't know what's going on. My kids could be dead right now. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. So you Okay. All right. I'll call him. All right. Bye. Bye. Hey, what's going on? Oh, no, what would you do? Um, well, um, Neely just asked me to call you. Oh, oh, um, I tried to call her a few minutes ago and her phone went crazy. Yeah, hey, I'm sure it, it, it is. She it, said, it's, <laughs> it sounds like she, you, you ever watch South Park? No. Uh, it sounds like this dude named Carmen on South Park. I mean, it, you couldn't even make it out. Right. Oh, my Lord. So I imagine her phone just ain't picking up good. No, it kind of cuts out, too. Sometimes sounds like a robot or, I don't know, yeah, that's what it, that's what it, up. That, yeah, that's what it was doing. <laughs> it sounded just like Carmen on South Park. I mean, I, I about to get stolen myself. <laughs> Every time she had to talk, is like, uh, you know, a computer. Did you, did you send her a picture? Did I send her a picture? Yeah, of her girls. On the Bible? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Job. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. I did that just a few minutes ago. Did you? Did, have you talked to her? No, I ain't talked to her since I tried to call her about 10 minutes ago. Okay. Ronnie? Uh huh? Something bad has happened. Why? What happened? She's got the information of her. Has been exploiting her. And she shot him. What? Yeah. She called me. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just like, I, you know, I am just sick at my stomach. I just don't know. I don't, you know. Hey, what, 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 what's going on? Yeah, I, I, I'm in shock, man. I'm, I'm telling you the yeah, truth. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying to call her now. Okay. Call her. Get her on. Add a call or, or something. Yeah, I'm answering her phone because uh, I didn't do it. Do it. I was just done it from... Her, her military ID's gone, and, and her purse is, and she's... Where's all of that? She's... She don't know, and she's in the car, and she's driving, and she's headed home, I suppose. I, I, I'm just, I'm like, blown away. Yeah, like, I am too. I don't know whether I need to start 
trying to go down that way or what? Well, she don't know who to go, who to trust, or whatever, because she found a bunch of evidence on on them that's in on on this uh, adrenochrome shit and stuff too. I mean, it, she's found out a lot of stuff, and she's got the proof, and she's she's need help, and she needs somebody. She don't know who to call or who to trust or whatever, and I don't I don't well, know either. You she, know. Well, I know who to call. She needs to call me. Well, she's freaking out. Because, you know, she just, she, she found the evidence of what's been going on. And she's pretty sharp. And, she, and she's, I don't know, uh, I, I just, I'm just freaking, uh, just in shock. I thought she was down there and she said that, her daughter, her daughter was cutting herself pot that she couldn't function and just all kinds of stuff and then she found some information on being in on the stuff with the adrenochrome and the, and the exploitation of kids and stuff like that and and, and she, I guess she got deeply hurt or, 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 or whatever I just don't know, I wasn't there I don't, I don't, I don't either, I just know that you know, that, that's not the first I've heard that because, like, there's a bunch of other stuff going on, too. That's the reason I had to get the heck out of e-calls. Well, Ronnie, I had no idea. I had no idea. You know, I'm just, I'm just freaking, freaking out. Just. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I am, too, because, like, she's still not answering. Oh, me. Who do you who do you go to? Do you go to a uh, crime victim or do you go to who the hell you go to? Cause by God, everybody's connected. She, well, she'd be calling the U.S. Marshal. Well, I told her U.S. Marshal, but you know, uh, who do you trust? I mean, she she don't know where to go, what to do, or whatever, and, and she just. Federal state can't fuck with that. Well, something, something. She needs some help. I don't know, you know, what to do. I'm not in no position to do anything. Well, I, I, I can't do nothing until she, I can talk to her. I mean, right. But. I don't know where she's at or anything like that. I know she's in the vehicle and she don't have any ID on her because her ID was took out of her car. It wasn't there, and I think she left her purse there. I was going to say, I didn't see it earlier when she was in the car, and she called me on Ditto. It was easily up on the advisor. Yeah. So it was gone already then. Yeah. Somebody got her ID. She, you know, she thinks it was going to hurt her bad or something. She said she treat her real well down there either. So she, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. I wasn't there, and... Well, I just had, I just called like, I don't know if I called like 10, 20 minutes ago. My pen. Okay, it's November the 15th. If you, is it recording? Yes. It's November the 15th, 2020. I am in Marion County, Florida. I live in Pensacola, Florida. My husband's in the United States Coast Guard. We live on the Naval Air Station, Pensacola. I came down here a few days ago because I have been working with for over three years with Kirk's Law Corner. During this time, my daughter was stolen in 2010. I have been working for and help. It's recorded. Okay. Petrie Blanchard, my husband's in the United States Coast Guard. We're stationed on NAS Pensacola. My military ID that I keep in my car, in my Ford Escape, my license plate number is E Clause. It is stolen out of my vehicle. And I also just realized that I left my purse <gasps> at, at, yes, at house. My purse. 
put all my identification on there, in there. So I have no identification on me. I will 
Stand up for the children. Period. They were in the room. I was. In, I, I. They ran into the room because, of course, they were scared. But I was never going to hurt them. But I had to stop from doing what he was doing. I tried to call 911. He has it blocked in his house. He's running a server out of Marion County, Florida. I'm driving my car right now, so I don't have the exact address. I'm recording this with Kathy Cunningham. There are there are so many people that know what's going on. I am the only one out of that has been involved with Kurt's Law Corner and e -Clause that has all the information on them. I have every single document from the very beginning. I feel that my life is in danger. I know everything of what e -Clause and Kurt's Law Corner has done. There has been many people exploited in this operation, this project. I had to stop it. The evil people will not win. I believe in a fair trial. I believe in our Constitution. I believe in freedom and not tyranny. We are living under tyranny. Our children are being abused. No one is helping. And the people that supposedly were helping were not the good guys. They were the bad guys. E Clause and Kirk's Law Corner, and I am the only one that has all the documentation. All the all the documentation is on Naval Air Station, Pensacola, at my house. I have four, five states involved: Pennsylvania, Georgia, Kentucky, South Carolina, and Florida. That is how many states have been involved in the financial exploitation and the stealing of our children. I prayed about it and I thought about it before I did it. I did not just do it. I, I am not going to let children get abused. If something happens to me, my only wish is that my story comes out. This has to be exposed. I don't care how high the levels are. I have been exploited and so have my children. Like I said, I tried to call 911 to tell, to tell them that... But not, my 911 would not work and I got a call back on my phone from this number. Marion County, 352-732-9111. They are, there is no, they're trying to take out 911 so people cannot call the emergency. I don't know what else bigger they're planning, but I need to be able to talk to someone and explain to them everything that I know so this can be exposed. I don't know how many times he's doing this to children and it is involved with senators and people that are in higher up places and elites and I have everything on my laptop. I'm doing this confession because I need someone to have this and get this to the right person and know. Don't let them do this to your kids. You have to stop them from doing this. This is going on. I was telling me that he was going to have the police come get me and the girls. I don't think they would ever reunite us. I think they would have killed us. That's what I knew. That something is not right. He has been telling me that the U.S. Marshals are involved in all of these things. That is not true. I have been exploited and so have my children. I've left in my car. God told me to stand up.
up to all evil, no matter what it is. And if anything's worth dying for, it's, it's our children. You cannot let this evil go on anymore. It's going on. They're taking over our all the systems. Very bad things are planning on happening. I love I worked with him for a long, long time. I, that's all that I've done is Kirk's Law Corner and Claws. But I just found out what they were doing and I had to stop them. I've been persecuted already by the state. They've stolen my children. I don't know where to go to be safe. This is going on everywhere. Human trafficking. Okay, copy. I, I can't talk. I, 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 I can't talk right now. Let's see. Are you cutting like, out? Girl, my phone will not let me call 911. Really? Well, you'll have to say what you just said. I said, my aunt, I have Verizon Wireless. Mm -hmm. And I have, it from the Android system, a location request emergency. But it would not let me call 911 to get any kind of help. So I think they have it blocked on my phone so when they were going to hurt me or do something to me, no one, no one would have been able to call my phone. Alright, that's all, Kathy. Okay. To get help. I don't. I don't know whether to call the FBI. I don't know whether to call... I don't know who to call right now. Witness protection? I don't either. I don't know whether to call Florida State... I don't even know if it's Florida State Police. This is just surreal. It's just unreal. It's just brutal. I'm just going. Like, I'm not going to let my children get hurt anymore, Kathy. I'm not, or anybody else's children. You know. Right. I, I understand. All right. Listen, I'm done. Right. I'm just, just get me off of there. You know that you can visit with your loved one remotely from your home, office or anywhere equipped with a PC, internet access, and a webcam, sign up today by going to www.securatech.net slash video visitation. That's www.securatech.net slash video visitation. An inmate at the recording and monitoring. Phone call can be hard, but now you can easily and quickly send messages to your loved one. E messaging available to help you stay connected. Download the Securus app to sign up. Find an inmate's calling account to or a call is never missed. You can find an inmate's account without setting up a calling account phone. Simply visit www.securistech.net. Call one eight hundred. Four four six five nine one, and select the option to fund and make debit account day. To accept this free call, press one. To refuse, thank you for use. Securus, you may conversation now. Okay. That was a few minutes. I <laughs> right. I was trying to push one so it could go on through that. After hearing all that, I thought, well, I'll push one. It didn't work, so I had to go. And listen to some more before I could push yeah, the one. Okay. <laughs> you get that, that video thing set up or figure it out because it's a lot to you. know what I'm saying? It's right. For these, these, um, these phone, um, these. So, put a little bit of money on there, but. Um, uh, I know Ronnie said, Ronnie said he was going to 
Dion he has. You need to call him and be like, uh, ask him why he hadn't put money on the account. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, Loose Lips see shit and he'd been running his mouth and he was on the live with the, uh, oh, what's his name? Oh, he has? Yeah, on the Watchman. Yeah. Uh, I've heard, I heard he is. I heard everybody's running their mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's ugly. You know, and, again, you know, people don't know. It's the same land. right. You know, same thing with the media. A bunch yeah. of media people were trying to talk to me, and I'm not talking. No. Because just don't know. You know what I'm saying? Right. We don't know who to trust. Exactly. But, yeah. Trying to get a hold of sister. Um, I want to see it was NBC. I don't know. It was MSNBC. Oh, yeah, Mark was trying to get old Nancy Grace on that crazy thing. Oh my God. Yeah, he mentioned it, but anyhow, from what I seen, I thought, oh my Lord. Oh my God. Yeah. It's... And there'll be a lot of. You know, discovery will come out and everything. Um, that's again, that's why I'm planning on um, one. You know, well, I mean, you know, the crazy thing of it is, they're judge, jury, and executioner right there on every one of them. You know, it's like this is bull crap. Does Kirk have Kirk done the show any? Yeah, he's done a couple of shows. I hadn't watched the okay, last one. He what? I said I haven't watched the last one, but yeah, he's done a couple okay. of shows. I mean, you know. Okay. He's just distraught. Right. Well, he wasn't, you know, I don't know. Like I said, um, sure. Yeah. But I gotta get a, that's why I'm gonna have to get a private attorney. You know, mm -hmm. but I'm glad to hear you too. And this, I didn't want you to think that. You know I'm, saying? I'm okay. I just literally they took me and I. The phone. I mean, I literally just. Right. Um, maybe like two days ago. Tell Teresa too. Just call her and let her know too that if she wants to do that thing. Uh huh. Uh, well, I know she said something about she didn't have much uh, memory or whatever on her stuff, so she's struggling a little bit, you know, as far as that. But uh, I was trying to write down the 800 number, but I can tell her about this app. Do you want to write that down? Yeah, have you got it? The 800 it's, for? Yeah, it's 1-800-844-8444. Uh -huh. Okay. 6591. 6591, okay. Yep. Yeah, but I think anybody can set up, you know what I'm saying, set up a thing on there and, like, put a little bit of it. And then just tell her if she does that, that I can call her. Right. Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to save all, you know what I'm saying, save uh -huh. everything that I can right now. Right. I don't know what road this is going to be. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, well, yeah, I told Robert, be. I told Robert not to worry about Buck, that, you know, if he had to go out or whatever, I don't know whether, I don't think he's going to have to go out, but if he did, that, you know, he can bring Buck here and I'll keep him till however long it takes or whatever, you know? Right. So. Right. I think his well, parents. His parents is, are down there right now, and yeah. I'm glad that they're there. Right. You know, and with them, and, um. So they're there. He's supposed to be, uh, he just got approved for the, because it takes like a week to get approved for that video visitation. Uh-huh. So he just got approved. So I think he's going to try to set up something to talk to me tonight. Oh, good. And then my best friend came to the jail, because she lives, she's a doctor, you yeah. know, right around yeah. here. Yeah, right. And she came to the jail. Awesome. And uh, so I talked to her. Mm-hmm. That was, you know... And then, because she got approved, because she came to the jail, you know. Right. So that's yeah. why she got approved so fast. And yeah. then, um, you know, I talked, again, I talked to my mom and my sister, and they're, you know, 
they're trying. I, I, I don't know if they're going to end up helping or what's going on, you know, trying to help financially. But like I said, I, I told Robert that I'll just sit in here, you know what I'm saying, until... Yeah. Um, until... Because it's just too serious, you right. know? Like, I need an attorney. Absolutely. So, this yeah. is too serious. So, I'm just going to have to... I have to sit here for a little bit and wait on one, and that's what I'll have to do. Right. Well, I know. But you're, I love you. I just pray for me and keep, uh, keep the girls, keep me in your prayers. I will. The girls are really upset. Yeah. You know? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the God will bring me through it, you know? Right. Well, you know, you've always fought for the truth, and you knew something, something, you know, out of all of it. You've always fought for the truth, and you've stood strong on the truth, and I know that. And God will see you through this. He yeah. will. Whatever comes about, you know, whatever light's been shown on a dark place, God will bring you through it. Yeah. And all of it that's involved. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. I just hope and pray and for the best. And just keep an eye out on what's going on. You know, oh, I am. I, everything. I am. <laughs> because they're in this newspaper today. They're seeming to think that, you know what I'm saying? He's going to take office on the 20th, so I'm just quite concerned. Right. You know, about, just concerned about everything. There's so much crap going on. I was reading in the, reading in the newspaper that they're going to distribute the, the vaccine to the prison, the federal prisons, and they're going to give it to the staff first. Hmm. A lot of the staff doesn't want to take it. Well, Trump said, you know, you know, you don't, you know, you don't have to take it if you don't want to, because that was an executive order, right? Um, I don't know if that was an executive order or not. Uh, it might not be, but I think you have a right to choose. Right. And I believe that's it. Well, the federal employees don't. All right. Hey, what that college that was you was uh, accepted into? What's the name of that college that you was ac accepted into? And that uh, where is your uh, acceptance letters? Where it says, uh, "Dear uh, Innocent." It's on. Uh, it's on my email. But the thing is, is they have all my when they impounded the car. Uh huh. They took all of my like my laptop and they took everything. Yeah. Phone, my passwords, you know what I'm saying, to my stuff, so they have everything. So I don't have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I just wondered I if that paper was with you or if it was on your desk at home or whatever. As far as, yeah, I know we was, I don't know whether we were on the live and you showed me the acceptance letter or you, I looked for pictures. I thought maybe you might have sent it to me, you know, where you got accepted, uh -huh. but I couldn't find it. So I, that's why I was asking. What, where you needed it for? Because Tressa asked me. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I got it. It's on my email where I got accepted into the school yeah. um, in Washington. Yeah. Um, but it's on my email. Okay, I don't have the paper with me. Okay, hon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think we Love was you. On. I'm going to get off here because I don't want to spend too much you know what I'm saying? But uh -huh. try to see if you can get that hooked up, you okay. know? That yeah. way, I think um, you can give people, like once you hook it up, uh -huh. I think you can, multiple people can use that. Uh -huh. So you might call Ronnie too, you know what I'm saying? Because he might take half, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's only, thir it's only $30 a month uh -huh. and it's unlimited. Okay. Up to three a day. Okay video visitation. Right. So call him up and ask him, you know, tell him, uh, tell him I was waiting for him to put money on the, because I had talked to him once and he said he was going to put some money on there, but I don't see it, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, I. And then he said he was supposed to be helping save up a little bit of money to help Robert pay for an attorney. So yeah. maybe you can just call him to find out where he's at. Okay. Yeah. With everything. Yeah. Because the faster I get one, the better. Right. Yep. I'll sure do it. All right, love. Well, I love you. I'll call you later. Uh, 
Do you need to give you your call a little bit later and okay. let you call um call him and see what he says? Okay, I will. I will. You want, you want me to just do that? Call you later? Yeah, call me later, and then I'll give you information on what I find out from him, or if he's going to, or if he's, you know, okay. whatever. I won't know till I talk to him, so. But, yeah, call me later, and I'll let you know, okay? All right, I love you. I love you, too, hon. Hang in there. It's going to okay. be okay. I am. All right. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. of 
what was going on. They just thought I was trying to steal your house, which I wasn't. You wanted to go home, and that's what I was fighting for, your home. But it was such a mess, I had to clean it all up. I've got all the pictures of what it looked like, how much shit, dog shit, and everything was in there when Austin was in there, and he wouldn't move out. So a little alone, I'm working on your house. So Billy could move in. He's part of your heirs. The other two's got houses. So we had a Billy's trailer's falling down around him. So the most logical thing to do, if he's going to help me take care of you, get him in your house to where you can go there, and then your grandkids can go and visit you or whatever, you know. But it takes time. I haven't had any help. It's just me. And I've got all this laundry to do, the cooking for you, and the dishes to do. And, you know, I'm trying to do the best I can with no help. And get you where you will go to the pot because you want to, you want to, you want to mess and pee on yourself all the time because you was doing that in a nursing home because it was okay for you to do that and that's the easiest thing you do. You want to get up and, and check yourself and, and all that. So no TV, no sweets, no nothing. Until you get it in your head, that's what you've got to do is get up and go to the bathroom and check, and make sure you need changing or or if you got poo, get on the pot and do it. You won't do it otherwise. You try to stay away from it. You won't do it on your own. So, you know, I want you to think about all this. I won't get your ass up and go check. You well, know, maybe just sit there a minute. And then you get the back where you work on what you got to do. And that's one of the daily things you got to do is check yourself. If you're wet, change your bridges. If you got to pee, get on the pot and pee. If you got to poop, maybe the best thing you can do is get on the pot and poop. Not in your bridges. Not in the bed. If you're smart enough to remove the wet pad off of your bed and throw it in this chair because you're wet, and then mess up the sheets that had been changed prior to that, then, you know, if you've got a problem, you've got a thinking problem. When you're wet, you gotta lift the top. Wet. You gotta put. You need to get on the pot. When you start doing that on a regular basis, pull down. And when you start doing that on a regular basis, that will help you have a better quality.
your loved one remotely from your home, office, or anywhere equipped with a PC, internet access, and a webcam? Sign up today by going to www.securatech.net slash video visitation. That's www.securatech dot net slash video visitation. An inmate at Marion. This call to recording and monitoring. Phone call can be hard, but now you can easily and quickly send messages to your loved one. E messaging available to help you stay connected. Download the Securus app to sign up. Find an inmate's calling account to or a call is never missed. You can find an inmate's account without setting up a calling account. Simply visit www.securistech.net. Call 1-800-446591 and select the option to fund and make debit account today. To accept this free call, press 1. To review, thank you for use. Securus, you may conversation now. Okay. That was a... <laughs> right. I was trying to push one so it could go on through that. After hearing all that, I thought, well, I'll push one. It didn't work, so I had to go and listen to some more before I could push yeah, the one. Okay. <laughs> you get that, that video thing set up or figure it out because it's a lot to eat on a fan. Right. For these, 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 um, these phone, um, these, so, put a little bit of money on there, but, um, uh, uh, I think Ronnie said, Ronnie said he was a, he on, he has, you need to call him and be like, I, ask him why he hadn't put money on that account. <laughs> okay. Uh. Well, I'll tell you what, Loose there. left C-Ship and he'd been running his mouth and he was on the live with the, oh, what's his name? Oh, he has? Yeah, on the Watchman, yeah. Uh, I've heard, I heard he is. I heard everybody's running their mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's ugly. You know? And, again, you know, people don't know. It's the same with Liam. Oh, right. Same thing with the media. A bunch of media people were trying to talk to me, and I'm not talking. No. Because just don't know. You know what I'm saying? Right. They don't know who to trust. Exactly. Trying to get a hold of sister. Um, I want to say it was NBC. I don't know. It was MSNBC. Oh, Mark was trying to get old Nancy Grace on that crazy thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he mentioned it, but anyhow, from what I seen, I thought, oh my lord. Oh my god. Yeah. It's... And there'll be a lot of. You know, discovery will come out and everything. Um, that's again, that's why I'm planning on um, one. You know. Well, I mean, you know, the crazy thing of it is, they're judge, jury, and executioner right there on every one of them. You know, it's like this is bull crap. Does Kirk have Kirk done the show any? Yeah, he's done a couple of shows. I hadn't watched the okay, last one. He what? I said I haven't watched the last one, but yeah, he's done a couple okay. of shows. I mean, you know, okay. he's just a straw. Right. Well, he wasn't, you know, I don't know. Like I said, um, sure. Yeah. But I gotta get a, that's why I'm gonna have to get a private attorney. You know, mm -hmm. but I'm glad to hear you too. And this, I didn't want you to think that you know what I'm saying. I, I'm okay. I just literally they took me and I. The fuck. I mean, I literally just. Right. Um, maybe like two days ago. Tell Teresa too. Just call her and let her know too that if she wants to do that thing. Uh huh. Uh, well, you I know, know she said something about she didn't have much uh, memory or whatever on her stuff, so she's struggling a little bit, you know, as far as that. But uh, I was trying to write down the 800 number, but I can tell her about this app. Yeah. 
do you want to write that down? Yeah, have you got it? The 804? It's, yeah, it's 1-800-844-8444. Uh -huh. Okay. 6591. 6591, okay. Yep. Yeah, but I think anybody can set up, you know what I'm saying, set up a thing on there and like, a little bit of it and then just tell her if she does that that I can call her. Right. You know, I'm just trying to save all, you know what I'm saying, save uh -huh. everything that I can right now. Right. I don't know what road this is going to be. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, well, yeah, I told gonna... Robert, I told Robert not to worry about Buck, that, you know, if he had to go out or whatever, I don't know whether, I don't think he's going to have to go out. But if he did, that, you know, he can bring Buck here and I'll keep him till however long it takes or whatever, you know. Right. So. Right. I think his well, parents. His parents are down there right now. Yeah. Which I'm glad that they're there. Right. You know, and with them, and um, so they're there. He's supposed to be. Uh, he just got approved for the. Cause it takes like a week to get approved for that video visitation. Uh huh. So he just got approved. So I think he's gonna try to set up something to talk to me tonight. Oh, good. And then my best friend came to the jail. Cause she lives. She's a daughter. You yeah. know, right around yeah. here. Right. And she came to the jail. Awesome. And uh, so I talked to her. Mhm. Mm that was, you know. And then because she got approved, because she came to the jail. You know? Right. So yeah. that's why she got approved so fast. And yeah. then, um, you know. I talked again. I talked to my mom and my sister, and they're, you know, they're trying. I, I, I don't know if they're going to end up helping or what's going on, you know, trying to help financially. But like I said, I, I told Robert that I'll just sit in here, you know, and stay in until, yeah, um, until because it's just too serious, you right. know. Like I need an attorney. Ex absolutely. So this yeah. is too serious. So. I'm just going to have to, if I have to sit here for a little bit and wait on one, then that's what I'll have to do. All right. Well, I know you. But I love you, and just pray for me and keep, uh, keep the girls, keep me in your prayers. I will. The girls are really upset. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the God will bring me through it, you know? Right. Well, you know, you've always fought for the truth, and you knew something, something, you know, out of all of it, you've always fought for the truth, and you've stood strong on the truth, and I know that. And God will see you through this. He yeah. will. Whatever comes about, you know, whatever light's been shown on a dark place, God will bring you through it. Yeah. And all of it that's involved. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. I just hope and pray for and the just best. keep an eye out on what's going on. You know, oh, I am. You know, I, everything. I am. <laughs> because they're in this newspaper today. They're seeming to think that, you know what I'm saying? He's going to take office on the 20th, so I'm just quite concerned. Right. You know, about, just concerned about everything. There's so much crap going on. I was reading in the, reading in the newspaper that they're going to distribute the, the vaccine to the prison, the federal prisons, and they're going to give it to the staff first. Hmm. A lot of the staff doesn't want to take it. Well, Trump said, you know, you know, you don't, you know, you don't have to take it if you don't want to, because that was an executive order, right? Um, I don't know if that was an executive order or not. Uh, it might not be, but I think you have a right to choose. Right. And I believe that's it. Well, the federal employees don't. All right. Hey, what that college that was you was uh, accepted into? What's the name of that college that you was ac accepted into? And that uh, where is your uh, acceptance letters? Where it says, uh, "Dear uh, Innocent." It's on. Uh, it's on my email. But the thing is, is they have all my when they impounded the car. Uh huh. They took all of my like my laptop and they took everything. Yeah. Phone, my passwords, you 
Tina's fan to my mm. stuff, so they have everything. So I don't have, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I just wondered I if that paper was with you or if it was on your desk at home or whatever. As far as, yeah, I know we was, I don't know whether we were on a live and you showed me the acceptance letter or you, I looked for pictures. I thought maybe you might have sent it to me, you know, where you got accepted. Uh -huh. But I couldn't find it, so I, that's why I was asking. What, where you needed it for? Because Tressa asked me. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I got it. It's on my email where I got accepted into the school yeah. um, in Washington. Yeah. Um, but it's on my email. Okay, I don't have hun. a paper with me. Okay, hon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think we Love were you. Some. I'm going to get off here because I don't want to spend too much, you know what I'm saying? But uh -huh. try to see if you can get that hooked up, you okay. know? That yeah. way, I think um, you can give people, like once you hook it up, uh -huh. I think you can, multiple people can use that. Uh -huh. So you might call Ronnie too, you know what I'm saying? Because he might take half, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's, only thir it's only $30 a month and uh -huh. it's unlimited. Okay. Up to three a day. Okay. Video visitation. Right. So call him up and ask him, you know, tell him, uh, tell him I was waiting for him to put money on the, because I had talked to him once and he said he was going to put some money on there, but I don't see it, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, I. And then he said he was supposed to be helping save up a little bit of money to help Robert pay for an attorney. So yeah. maybe you can just call him to find out where he's at. Okay. Yeah. With everything. Yeah. Because the faster I get one, the better. Right. Yep. I'll sure do it. All right, love. Well, I love you. I'll call you later. Uh, can we just give you a call a little bit later and okay. let you call, um, call him and see what he says? Okay. I will. I will. You want, do you want me to just do that and call you later? Yeah, call me later and then I'll give you information on what I find out from him or if he's going to or if he's, you know. Okay. Whatever. I won't know till I talk to him, so. But, yeah, call okay. me later and I'll let you know, okay? All right. I love you. I love you too, hon. Hang in there. It's going to okay. be okay. I am. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Okay. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy.
and then after what they put me through, after fighting for the nursing homes in the state, keep people going to the western state. Yeah. I don't really, you know, I mean, that, 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 the state done that. And the nursing homes tried to put me in jail for didn't misappropriate their funds, which I didn't. So they accused me of what they were doing. And then they tried to kill you two or three times, overdosing you, and listen down here got you in renal failure. I reported it and stuff, but, you know, trying to cover it up. So, but anyway, I'm going to protect you and I'm going to protect me. There ain't nobody going to bother you. So we're here. I've been working on your house a little long, trying to get it right so before Billy can move in. So then that way you can go and, and stay in your own home for three days out of the week, but you have to live here. Your, your main residence is here with me because they have to go to court and get guardianship of you to keep the state from doing anything to you or the nursing homes from doing anything to you. So I've gone through a whole lot of legal stuff to keep you safe. I put myself on hold, not doing anything that I want to do to take care of you. And I've you know, got laundry out my ass. You know, I, I just don't have a lot other than taking care of you. I've gone through all of that to make sure you're safe and I'm going to do the end, trying to get rid of you at the nursing homes. But I had to fight them and I had to fight your own family because of what they were doing. You know, give them God, they don't know what to do because they didn't know the bigger picture of what was going on. They just thought I was trying to steal your house, which I wasn't. You wanted to go home and that's what I was fighting for, your home. But it was such a mess, I had to clean it all up. I've got all the pictures of what it looked like, how much shit, dog shit, and everything was in there when Austin was in there, and he wouldn't move out. So a little alone, I'm working on your house. So Billy can move in it. He's part of your heirs. The other two sky houses. So we had Billy's trailer's falling down around him. So the most logical thing to do, if he's going to help me take care of you, get him in your house to where you can go there, and then your grandkids can go and visit you or whatever, you know. But it takes time. I haven't had any help. It's just me. And I've got all this laundry to do, the cooking for you, and the dishes to do. And, you know, I'm trying to do the best I can with no help. And get you where you will go to the pot because you want to you you mess and pee on yourself all the time because you just doing that in a nursing home because it was okay for you to do that and that's the easiest thing for you to do. You won't get up and, and check yourself and, and all that. So no TV, no sweets, no nothing. Until you get it in your head, that's what you've got to do is get up and go to the bathroom and check and make sure you need changing or, or if you got poop, get on the pot and do it. You won't do it otherwise. You try to stay away from it. You won't do it on your own.
Hello. Hello. This is a free call from Neely Petrie Blanchard. Did you know that you can visit with your loved one remotely from your home, office, or anywhere equipped with a PC, internet access, and a webcam? Sign up today by going to www.securistech.net slash video visitation. That's www.securustech dot net slash video visitation. An inmate at Marion County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. Waiting to receive a phone call can be hard, but now you can easily and quickly send messages to your loved ones. E-messaging is now available to help you stay more connected. Download the Securus app to sign up. Find an inmate's calling account to make sure a call oh, is never missed. You can fund an inmate's account without setting up a calling account of your own. www.securustech.net or call 1-800-844-6591. And select the option to fund an inmate debit account today. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this, thank you for using <clears throat> Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hello, that was about a 1 minute and 21 prompt, too. What did you say? I said that was about a 1 minute and 21 second prompt, too, on a this and I that know, and other. it just goes on and on and on and on. <laughs> yeah, does that take away your time? No, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't. As soon as someone answers the phone, then it starts to count down. So. Okay. <laughs> what are you up to? Well, um, we just got through eating some dressing and Brussels sprouts and ham and mashed potatoes. Mm, that sounds good. Yeah, I <laughs> bet. I didn't want to. I kind of hesitated in between telling you the rest of it. I thought, well, I don't really need to tell her all that because I'm sure. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I had, um, you know, the ink pen. I had wondered whether or not um, that my ink pen had worked, and it did. So uh, I just wanted Which you to one? know that. Oh, you know the one. The ink pen. My ink, my ink pen. Yeah. Yeah, the one you know, uh, my special one that yeah. I like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So I checked. So it yeah, yeah. I was afraid it didn't work, but it does. I got a few okay. more then. <laughs> well, I was afraid I didn't get, but I had. Okay. <laughs> right. Well, Ronnie, Ronnie said that you had you messaged. Did you message Eddie? Uh, yeah, I messaged him, and I haven't uh, received a message yet. You know, back. I, okay. You know, just send him a message. I don't know whether he was there or not because the holidays and, you know. Right. But, uh. Did you send it to him on Facebook or did you call his office? Uh, I hadn't called his office, but I got a picture of his office and, uh, the number. And I haven't okay. called it yet, but, um. Okay. I will if you want me to. Yeah, just call. We'll just wait until it's Monday. Yeah. Wait, wait, I guess maybe he'll write you back. Right. I haven't checked my messages because, you know, it's on my laptop, the the messenger is. <clears throat> what is that? It's a... <coughs> yeah. Well, I just talked to Ronnie and I told him because he didn't know about what to do with that truck. I said, well, bring it up here and put it under the carport. I said, I'll make sure, you know, if it's cold, to start it up. Keep, right. You know, the the stuff in the additive in the... Him, he got me a truck. Yes, I saved a picture of it. Oh, my God. What's it look like? Well, it's a Dudley. I think it's burgundy. It's really pretty. It's like a cub cab or whatever. And I told him, I said, well... I bring it up here, and I said, uh, whenever we get ready and we have to go down there to Florida, we'll just take it down there. I said, uh, I don't want to go down there by myself. I said, so we'll just drive it down there whenever we got to go. I said, and I can get Linda in the her house with her son, and that way we can come down there, visit or whatever, and I can, you know, we can figure out whenever whatever happens. You got you to make sure you stay on Make sure you stay on top of it. I might tell the group that when he gets, gets paid, 
Yeah. Or whatever to spend starts when it needs so much money that you can pay, you can hold it for. Yeah. Well, just whatever you want to um, do. I told him I was on the phone with you when you, when uh, you called. And that's what we was discussing because he said, I don't, he said, I thought about taking it over to Mama's. I said, you better not take it over to Mama's and let it sit there. I said, yeah, all y'all hauled off and go to court and no. yeah. storage, haul off bill, toll bill. Did I he said, him, did, he know, did he know I was calling? I told him that Ocala was calling, so he knew, yeah. So anyway, now we had just got through discussing that. I said, well, hell, Ronnie, I said, if you're going to be out on the road, you're going to change that I said you ain't got nobody to check and make sure it you know you gotta start them up every now and then when it gets cold you know you gotta you gotta plug it up and make sure the battery stays up or you know the additive in the fuel and all that right. yes. so um, I told him we'd figure it out I said if we go to Florida we can just take it so anyway the guy I don't think was gonna take it back <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, you told him to take it back, or I uh, told Robert, I'm oh, not Robert. So I did, I said, why don't you take it back and get the money for the attorney? Yeah. Anyway. He said, I can't take it back, you said something about it. Yeah. I was, why, what, did he, what did he say about it? He said he couldn't take it back, he's just going to keep it and make payments on it. I said, well, okay. I said, just, that's be out on the road, it's going to get cold, and it's going to have to be plugged up, you know, the glow plugs or whatever to keep. That's why he's going back to work Warner, because Warner will pay him more. Yeah. <coughs> right. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I talked to Robert today. Robert, they're going to help him get a car. Oh, so they've released your car? Yeah. Oh. Like, get another car. Oh, his parents is? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh. Yeah, which, honestly, I'm glad that they're there. Yeah. Help. You're right. Help. Yeah. Did you, I didn't know either, as far as uh, U.S. Marshals or whatever, you know, because I don't know who's in on all that well, and who's not. Well, what I want right now is, I've got to get an attorney. I'm going to have to get an attorney. Right. So, um, that's what we've got to stay focused on. Ronnie said he would help, you know, help with the attorney call. <coughs> I think between him, Robert, and my mom, we should be able to secure one. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, and how, because it is deep. You know what I'm saying? All this. Right. Everything has happened. <clears throat> very, very deep. And it's like I told Robert, I might need a military attorney. Right. That's what I was thinking. That's what me and Ro Ronnie was talking about a while ago. <clears throat> I said, well, Sidney Powell. No, I was saying that. I was telling him that. I said, well, Sydney Powell, she's down there in Georgia. She ain't gone back yet, but, uh, you know. Why don't y'all try to reach out to her and see if she knows of anybody good? Well, I'm going to have to talk to her. I'm going to have to talk 
do that? Why don't y'all try to reach out to her and find her? Because she would know somebody, you know? Right, right. Right. Or, you know what I'm saying? Who knows? Right. I'm sure she's already heard about it. Probably so. So, you know, she has an office. I'm sure she has an office somewhere. All you have to do is Google it and get her office number. Right. And just get a referral from her, you know? Right. Yep. So that's what you were telling her when you knew? Yeah, that's what I was telling Ronnie. I mean, he said, why not to get a military attorney? I said, well, or a lawyer or whatever. <clears throat> I said, may have to. At least somebody that used to be in the military that knows a little bit about maybe what's going on. Right. And then certain things are, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. It sucks that I can't talk about the case. Right. Like, I cannot say anything. That's what sucks. Right. Like, I really need to get a bond to be able to, you know, I feel like I'm going to need to bond to be able to prepare for trial. Right. I've got to be able to prepare for trial. Right. I have to be able to have a fair trial. Exactly. You know? Mm-hmm. Yep. So. Yes, you sure do. And you need one. If you have to have a change of venue, you need a fair trial. I thought about, you know, that attorney that done old Casey Anthony's. I mean, you know. Oh, well, my sister called him. Yeah? Which, you know, and uh, he, that one guy only takes like five cases. He's like, year, but his office said they would represent me, but it was $30,000. Right. Well, he done pro, de pro bono. There's some pro bono, you know, that teams, they could do a pro bono. Well, who's the one that done, who got the Zimmerman guy, you know? I don't know. You, you know what? You, why don't you do some research? Do huh? some research online. Yeah. And see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe there's like a fake book group or like... I ain't getting in no damn group. I'll go on my, I'll paddle my own canoe and find out what I need to find out. <laughs> see what I'm, you right. know. <laughs> Piss on these damn groups and these damn inspector gadgets that think they know all the damn <laughs> shit. I'm so right. got my belly full of that shit. It just ain't. I'm trying to maintain control here, okay? It's a little difficult. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I done seen all the shit show I want to see and all the damn comments that everybody thinks they got it figured out and all that. I didn't see about all I could see of that. No. Uh uh. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, it's like. Uh, Savannah, Savannah did say she's gonna make a. Uh, she's gonna try to get a website going, like a legal fund webpage. Yeah. So it's not gonna be like an actual like GoFundMe, but it's gonna be like an actual website. Oh. She's gonna do like a website. Okay. You know? Well, have they finally come to their senses about everything, or what? Who? Savannah and your mother. I think so. Have they, has she mean, dropped those, that kidnapping shit, that bogus bullshit? Well, yes, yeah, they did, she did say they called, and they are dropping that. Well, thank God. Yeah, because that was, you know, that wasn't right. And I know it wasn't right. Apparently it was in the, something about it was in the newspaper, but of course they got it all wrong, you know. <laughs> I swear, they can't do anything, but anytime the newspaper does anything, they never get the damn story right. Huh. 
Honey, I know that ever since Daddy died when I was eight years old. He didn't have the story straight to you. Said he had died instantly. No, he didn't. It's crazy. I know. It's like, oh my God. Okay, so what's going on with the election? Anything new? I want to know every day. <laughs> well, I know, you know, it's just getting down. To, well, I know Cindy Powell, or Sydney Powell went down there to Georgia. Okay? And uh, for the military, I guess. You have one minute left. Oh, shoot. What's happening? The military, uh, the attorney, she went down there to Georgia because, you know, this is, they've done some bad stuff and they're very corrupt things, you know. So, I guess they're going to have trial or military tribunals or something. Morning. Huh? I will. I'll call you. I love you. I love you too, Try honey. Like work for me and I will. let's find me a, a, a attorney. A damn good one, yeah, I know. Okay, honey. Right. All right. All right, I love you. I love you, too. I'm going to tell him to, I'm going to call him, call him and tell him to bring that truck there. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Love All you, right. bye. Okay. Love you, bye. Good morning. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, just hanging out. <laughs> Out. What's the weather like? Well, it's kind of rainy, you know, getting cold. They're calling yeah. for, I think, snow flurries or something like that. So it's Friday. on the way. Well, here they are. Well, supposed to. If it's just raining here now, it's not like froze or anything. But right. Mm. But they're calling for it, okay? Yeah, flurries or something. If it don't go right. up, you know. Up north of us. Right. Might just be a dust. Yeah, it's kind of it's like raining here real bad. It's supposed to be thunder and storm, and I hope it goes away because I want to go outside. Yeah. They have let us out for a few days. Oh, I need yeah. some fresh air. That's good, yeah. But, um, yeah, I was just calling to see if, um, what was going on. I've got, um, Ronnie said he had given you some names of some attorneys. Did you get a chance to look them up? Yeah, I had got this Kirtner Family Law Group. Um, uh, Cushing Attorney at Law and Lasky Law Firm. Florida Women's Law Group. Wood Law. Did and then, Eddie ever message you back? Who? Eddie. No. He hadn't messaged you back yet? Mm -mm. Okay. No. Alright. Yeah, I'm just doing some research. I'm about to make some phone calls and see if, <clears throat> see if I can't get a couple, like, two to come down here and talk to me. Right. Yeah. So. I was just wondering what was going on. I don't. Uh, are you going to try to set up that video visitation? I'm going to try to, but, it, you know, it won't be till. The third. Yeah. And, you know. I can't believe tomorrow's the first already. Right. Yeah. All right, love. Well, listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I think Robert's gonna put some more money on my account today, but I gotta wait and see. But I need to keep this money on here so I can call these attorneys. But right. I just was wondering if Eddie had messaged you back or anything. No, he hadn't. But I took a picture of his, you know. His wall, whatever, for his number. And I've okay. got it wrote down somewhere, too, here. Eddie. Yeah, his office number. Have you got it? No, I don't. I just wanted somebody from the outside to just call and just okay. call. Okay. Well, I've got it wrote down here on the tablet. Yeah, I've got a whole yeah, bunch of them. call his office and ask him. Okay. See if he can get in touch with them. Okay. Yep, All I right, got him well, a first on the I'll list. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll talk to you later. Okay, I love you. Okay, I love you too. Bye-bye.